Hello? Uh, hello? Ah! Hello everyone! How are we doing? I'm back! I'm bloody back! Back in business, baby! Can you hear me alright? Is everything okay? Let's turn desktop audio down a little bit. Uh, we're already at level 5 hype train. Have we just, have we just got here? My word. Um, thank you so much. I'll go through that in a minute. But hello. How are we all doing? How is everyone? How are you all? Hope you're doing well. Um, so it's been a while. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a minute. Um, but welcome uh, uh, back to a stream. Uh, I've been away. I've been bu I've been a busy old boy. Life's back to being busy again, which is great. But I have missed the live streams. I've missed you guys. I've missed it. How is Syndicate going? Syndicate is going well. If you didn't know, I'm I'm uh, I'm currently acting. I'm acting. I'm playing a character called Sam um, in a series called The Syndicate, uh, which we started filming. Um, I've had I've had two or three COVID tests now, um, so I get one one a week um, just to check everything's all right. So far, so good. Uh, but yeah, it's been it's been great. I've loved it. It's been such a um, a learning experience. I've learned a lot about you know about. Um, about acting and about um, production and how it all works, which is really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've enjoyed it. I don't know what I don't know if I'm going to play a game today. It might be a just chatting stream. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to play a game. It's been so long. I feel like I've got to talk. It could just be a just chatting. I'm 29 now. Yes, yeah, shit. It's my first stream as a 29 year old. The last time you saw me on here, I was twenty. I was a year younger. I wasn't, but I was a uh, old man. Yeah, I feel like an old man. Do you know how I know I feel like an old man? I've started complaining a lot more with like with uh, bad service. Like if I, I've I've had to send two like emails um, over the last couple of weeks to to companies, letting them know how bad their service is. That's not like me. Normally I'm just like, oh, it's annoying, but I'll carry on. Now I'm 29, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. If you can't pres if you can't provide a service, then you need, you, then, but you know, the person in charge needs to know. <laughs> so I've become that guy. <laughs> two, two companies I've had to give a, give a, a bollock into. I'm 30 next year, WTF. Can you, who would have thought Next year, I'd be uh, I'd be thirty. Mental. I have still got my uh, black nail polish on. Um, they offered to take it off, but I kind of like it. I don't know why. Uh, my tattoos come off though. I haven't got a tattoo today. You'd be pleased to know. Uh, coming to Karen. <laughs> uh, he snapped. I've, I've snapped. I've turned 29, I've snapped. Glasses, Joe. Oh, yeah, good point. Ah, oh, they're in the other room. Do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm, as the first stream back, I'm going to risk it and try and um, do all this without my glasses on. Right, anyway, in the meantime, who has resubbed, subbed, um, bitted? How did I go back? Five minutes ago, four minutes ago. Oh, my God, so many of you. My word. Um, wait, what? Okay, right. Hang about. Six minutes ago, seven minutes ago. Here we go. So, <clears throat> uh, it's Mo Twenty One. Thank you for the gifted sub to Holly yesterday. You must have known I was coming back today. I love that. Uh, Aisha MJ, thank you for the five months at Tier One. Um, X Kerr X, thank you for the five months of your Prime. Um, thank you, Keris. Uh, Hallie Amanda, thank you for the five months. Michelle, thank you for the five months of your Prime. Natalie, thank you for the five months at tier three. Five months, yay. Welcome back, Joe. So excited for the stream. Thank you, Natalie. Absolute legend. Thank you for sticking around. Um, thank you. Uh, Lauren Evans, thank you for the three months. Uh, Ellie Hicks, thank you for the five months of your prime. Joe Ward, 31, thank you for the four months of your prime. 
Uh, Kira Philip, thank you for the five months at tier one. I can't believe it's already been five months. Hopefully for the syndicate is going well. I can't wait to watch it. I'm so proud of you. That's the thing. We have to we we'll have to do a syndicate viewing party. I'm gonna I'm gonna message them, and maybe um, next week in the days that I'm at home, if I am back next week, um, maybe I can uh, we could do we should do like a syndicate viewing party of like one of the old series. Uh, Baggy661, thank you for the three months at tier one. Paula, thank you for the five months at tier one. And a Grace, thank you for the four months at your prime. Happy four months. I missed your streams. Hope you're well. I'm very well, thank you. I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a great mood. You've caught me in a great, great mood. I'm really tired. Um, so I keep waking up now at the crack of dawn. So I've been, I've been having really, really early call times. I've been getting up, having to wake up at like 6 a.m. most mornings. Um, so I am tired, but. Uh, I did want to. I did say I'd come on the stream today, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, but thank you, Ella Grace, uh, Alicia Payne. Thank you for the five months at Tier One. Um, Han, seventeen oh three. Thank you for the four months of your prime. Uh, just Alyssa. Thank you for the three months of your prime. Emily Grace. Thank you for the five months at Tier One. Uh, Dee Dee. Thank you for the hundred bits. Beatrice Flores. Thank you for the five months at Tier One. Hannah Young. Thank you for the five months of your prime. Uh, Perry Yee 20, thank you for the four months of your prime. Uh, Hannah, thank you for the five months at tier one. Best five months ever. Thank you for being the best and always making me smile. You are welcome. Becky Wiles, thank you so much for the five months. Uh, Fabia MK uh, 19, thank you for the five months. Uh, wow, this goes on and on. Megan Williams, thank you for the four months. Els, thank you for the five months at tier one. Emily Lan, thank you for the five months at tier one. MZO 007, a lot of Emmas. There's a lot of Emmas in this chat. Uh, MZ007, thank you for the four months at tier one. Uh, Jen Louise, thank you for the four months of your prime. Ben Ting, thank you for the five months of your prime. Uh, Bella Henderson, thank you for the five months. Uh, Lauren Webster, thank you for the five months. Lauren McAndrew, La Lauren's as well. Lauren's and Emma's. Um, Lauren McAndrew, thank you for the five months. Daisy, thank you for the five months. Uh, Tav, thank you for the uh, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, Natalia Louisa, thank you for the five months of your prime. Uh, Amy. Love Joanne, thank you for the five months. Uh, Magda, thank you for the five months. Megan, thank you for the bits. Laura, thank you for the bits. Amy, thank you for the five months. A lot of five monthers as well. I mean, probably Wiltshire then. Chloe, thank you for the five months. <laughs> Chloe K, another Chloe. A lot of Chloe's as well. Chloe's, Emma's, and Lauren's. Thank you for the four months, Chloe K. Francesca, thank you for the five months. Sophie, thank you for the five months. Hugh MCC, thank you for the five months. Maya, thank you for the five months. Maya, that was it, not Maya. Uh, British Girl, thank you for the three months. Uh, Danny, thank you, thank you for the three months. Emily Nanelli, thank you for the five months. Stacy Palmer, thank you for the bits. Thomas, thank you for the bits. Emily, thank you for the bits. Imi Rose, thank you for the five months. Stacy Lee Palmer, thank you for the bits. Rachie Pop, thank you for the five months. Um, happy belated birthday, thank you for everything. Oh, thank you, Maya. I had a lovely birthday. Rachel Pop, thank you for the five months. Rosie, thank you for the for the one month. Thomas, thank you for those 100 bits. Am Amber, thank you for the three months. Tab, thank you for the gifted sub. Thomas, once again, thank you for the bits. Uh, Natalie Merrick, thank you for the five months. Carol, thank you for the four months. Uh, Amy Mullen, thank you for the five months. Uh, Anna Barkley, thank you for the four months. It's, it's never ending. Jess218, thank you for the five months. DD, thank you for the uh, for the five gifted subs. You absolute legend. Thank you very much. Tab, thank you for the bits. Abby, thank you for the bits. Romo, thank you for the five gifted subs. Our, our gift is a back, a back in action, my word. Melissa, oh, sorry, it's fine. Melissa Jane, thank you for the one month. Amy Park, thank you for the three months. Samuel, thank you for the two months. Uh, and Z-Line, thank you for the four months. Right, we're up to date. My God. That took a while. My mouth's gone dry now. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> Malfoy comes in with the 10 gifted subs. Malfoy. Malfoy's back. Our favourite wizard. Uh, our favourite wizard is back in action. Jess Jackson, thank you for the five months at tier one. Abby, thank you for those bits. And breathe. Yeah, thanks, Alex. <laughs> I can breathe. My God. Um, oh, do you know what I need to do? I need to put some lights on. Hang on, one sec. A bit too dark in here. That's better. 
And then, I've got this, go on hue, and go into gaming, lighting. Ooh, I forgot this one today. The blue and the red. So what do we reckon? Blue and the red, or red and the blue? It may be blue and the red. It's a blue and the red kind of night. How is Diane doing? She's doing well. Yeah, she's um, she's well and truly in the in the thick of getting ready for Strictly now. Um, Anne Robinson, thank you for the hundred bits. Uh, Jess Ferguson, thank you for the five months at Tier One. Um, Aspen, thank you. Yeah, no, she's uh, so she's um, getting ready for that. But we we we've, we've been having to FaceTime most uh, like whenever we get a chance, basically. It's weird living you living your life on FaceTime, but it's nice. Blue and red. Yeah, I think I'm thinking the blue and red. Do, 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 do. Have you grown or have your trousers shrunk? <laughs> These are like kind of like MC Hammer pants. These are like they're quite baggy on me. Um, nice nails. Yeah, thank you. I've gone for a black nail varnish, but not on my thumb. That's what I use to pick my. Let's not go there. Um, why do I have nail polish on? It's part of my character. So I'm playing a character in a TV show at the moment. Um, it's not out yet, but it's, it's uh, coming out, uh, at I'm guessing, at some point next year. Um, but my character wears nail polish. So it wasn't a personal choice. Helps me get into character, you know. Sazzy Parker, thank you for the gifted sub to Eld's bow. Uh, Samuel, uh, thank you for the two months. Absolute legends. So back up. We're we're currently on seven hundred. We've we've obviously because I've been away, we've lost some subs. So I'm down to oh, I'm down to, but it's still a great number. Seven hundred and fourteen subs. So if you if you were hoping for that marble stream, we've we've got a bit of way to go yet. But you know, I've been away, I've been away for a while. I'm scared of Sam already. I I can't give anything else away. I'm not going to give you any spoilers about my character, the storyline of what happens. Um, but. I think you'll be. I think I'm. I'm hoping you'll be surprised, pleasantly surprised. I really enjoy playing other people and and being other people. <laughs> Emily Milton, you golfing pro. Thank you for the five months with your prime. Uh, Aspen, thank you. Imi, thank you for the gifted sub. And Neve, thank you for those bits. Um, guys, stop claiming to stream with other people and all that kind of stuff because I think this is gonna be a chilled one today. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not playing full, guys. Um, I'm gonna wait. I might play it another time, um, but I'm not playing full, guys, tonight. I can't. I can't be dealing with it because I know I'll go back in and I'll be so bad at it, and it will just ruin my night. Are we gonna play anything? Uh, if we do play something, I want to play. There's a game I wanted to play um, that didn't work, but I think I fixed it. And it's a, it's a story-based game. It's like a point-and-click adventure, kind of puzzly kind of game uh, that I loved as a kid called Escape from Monkey Island. And I want to play... I potentially want to play that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Because I want to chat to you as well. I want to actually read the chat and see how what you guys have been up to. Um, who's, back at, who's back at school? Who's back at work? Who's back at um, uni? Um, what's going on with your lives? Enough about me. I could I could talk for Britain. What about you guys? Is it just me who still has username Evie? No, I still got it. Don't worry. I've still got a whole cupboard full of them behind me. <laughs> still working on this thesis. I start uni next month. How do you feel? How do you feel about that? How do you feel about going back to school and uni and stuff? Is it all fine? I started sixth form this week. See, I really enjoyed Six Four. I was speaking to someone the other day who did, really didn't enjoy it and had to like and and quit, but I I really enjoyed it. I loved Six Four. Felt like the king of the castle. Um, I'm going back at college now, but it's a it's a it's so changed with the COVID. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's one of those things, isn't it? I don't know what's going to go on. Hope Cobbing, thank you for that gifted sub. You absolute legend. Samantha J, thank you for the gifted sub. To Imogen. Um, Tav, thank you for the bits. And Maya, thank you for the bits. Samuel, thank you for the bits. 
Hey, my voice got there. Um, corona bubbles are ending on Monday at the nursery I work. So I'm excited to be back with the children. Some of them I haven't seen in over six months. Yes, yeah, see, I can imagine that must be so nice. <laughs> Good on you. It's that even though so I, I um I've been going up to Leeds. Obviously, it's so nice to 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 get out and about. Uh, obviously, still being really really careful, like um. But it's uh it's so nice to to just get out and about again. Although you still do get some people that um just think that the rules don't apply to them, which is bloody mental. Um, Samuel, thank you for the hundred bits. You are splashing those bits out tonight. Thank you so much, Poppy Flower. Thank you for the gifted sub to the community. Can we get some I am I am legend? Not I am legend. Can we get some your yeah, legend emos in the chat for all our gifters? Shout out to the gifted subbers. Um, Samuel again with 100 bits. Keep those 100 bits to yourself. <laughs> You're spoiling me. Stop it. Thank you. Um, uh, Eleanor Halkins. Thank you for the, for the one month uh, at tier one. Chloe Jane. I'm not supposed to be on here because of uni work. You're a rebel. You are a rebel. Um, but I don't blame you. It's a joyous occasion. I've returned. I've returned to Twitch. I went away for I went away for a couple of weeks, and it was horrible. It's horrible to be away from home and knowing that you can't just jump on stream when you want to. But I tell you what makes up for it: the fact that Morgan is a penguin has subscribed for two months at tier one. Thank you so much, Morgan is a penguin. I'm really hoping that you actually are a penguin. Because if, if I find out you're not, I don't know. Oh, there's a chat with the Discord full of messages from us wishing you happy birthday. Oh, thank you. I'll go through that. In amongst all the uh, the terrible fan art, I'll go through and read all those birthday messages. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for everyone as well that sent in um, birthday messages to me. Um, I don't really like to make a sing and dance about birthdays now. Ever since turning 21, I, I like to sort of keep it keep birthdays as low key as possible. Um so I do I do read all the messages. Um but thank you. It's getting old. Getting old. Um Amy Rose, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh Emily Grace, thank you for those 200 bits. Samuel again with 100 bits. Stop it, Samuel. <laughs> Didi, thank you for the gifted sub to Ebony Loves Pugs. Um, Ebony, do you still love pugs just as much now as you did when you make made that username? That's what I want to know. Um, Mcard27608, thank you for the five months. Can't believe it's been five months. I know. Time flies when we're all stuck inside and there's a global pandemic going on. Thomas MP, thank you for the 100 bits. Natalie, thank you for the 50 bits. Um, MCAT, thank you for the five months with your prime. Michelle, thank you for those 100 bits. Uh, Hannah, how you doing? I hope everything's going well thank for you and Diane. Too. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I cannot wait uh, to see her again. Counting down the days. Counting down the days. Um, Samuel has a Twitch as well. Ah. Oh. Well, well... What do you play? What sort of stuff do you do? What's your thing? Uh, Michelle, thank you for the 100 bits. Poppy Flower, thank you for the gifted sub as well. Not only did you sub yourself, you've also gifted a sub. Thank you very much. Uh, Coco, thank you for those bits. Um, I'm 42 and feeling very old. No. They, didn't they say life begins at 40? So you're technically t only two years into your... Into your... Like... The, f the fun part of your life. Look at it that way. The glass is always half full. There's so many things you can do in your 40s that you can't do at any other age. Like, I think something, hang on. There is loads of things. It's just not coming to me right now, but there is loads of things. Settling down, yeah. I think most people probably settle before that. 
But if you haven't yet, it could be the right time. Uh, Bolton is currently just chilling the highest infection rate in the UK. Um, yet we have no lockdown, nothing, and nobody seems to bother. Do you know, does anyone question anything anymore this year? Like, is, is, like at this point, you've just got to be numb to everything. This year for me, if I, to, if I had to sum up one word for the year 2020, it's just numb. I'm numb to everything. There's not anything that I see online nowadays that gets a reaction out of me. I'm just like, doesn't doesn't phase me. I'm just like, whatever. Yeah, of course, of course that's going to happen. Of course this has now happened. Um, what do I think of the new Strictly lineup? I love it. They do a good job every year. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be great. I think, um, especially it's gonna, be, it's gonna be really interesting to watch. Obviously, because it's gonna be a very different kind of show. Um, and I've heard, I've heard some little things. Obviously, um, I've heard some little bits and bobs um, about the show, and it's gonna be great. They're gonna. It's gonna be. If anything, it's gonna save the year. It's gonna save the year. Who do you think Diane will be paired up with on Strictly? Do you know what Anna? I don't know, and neither does she. And that's the annoying thing. Cause I'm always asking, like, who do you think you've got? And she doesn't tell me because she doesn't know. She would tell me if she knew. I think that's why they don't get told until it actually happens. Um, D Buzz to win. It's our girl's year. Monty Monkey. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Sophie Louise says, I think Bill or Nicola. Uh, I uh, and then uh, Courtney says, I reckon Harvey or JJ. Who knows? Who knows? There's always like, I, I feel like, because who did everyone think last year? Who did everyone guess last year? For Diane. I think a lot of people thought Diane would be with um, Karim. So you never know. Uh, KC Love, thank you for those 100 bits. Samantha, thank you for the bits. Hems96, thank you for subbing with your prime. Danny, thank you for the four months. Um, yo, Joe, are you going to do a Strictly Partner predictions this year? Uh, probably not. I probably won't. I got them, I got them so wrong last year. <laughs> it just proves that I, I probably shouldn't predict because I don't get them. If I don't ever get them right. Um, no, I don't. I don't know. I've, I've got my own personal predictions, sort of. Actually, no, I haven't really this year. Maybe I should do that. I should do it on stream maybe one day. I'll do another stream. Uh, unknown Mallard You still don't know who you are But thank you for those 100 bits Lily, thank you for the 4 months of your prime um, 4 months, whoa So glad to see you're back streaming uh, uh, Tony Stark and I can't wait To beat you at Mario Kart again sometime Oh yeah <laughs> Well it's not a Monday But um, but yeah, looking forward to that I've missed the old Mario Kart Mondays uh, Samuel, thank you for another 100 bits Good lordy lord. Um, who do you think? Who do you think Dan will be with this year? And who? Like, who are your predictions? Who do you guys think will be with who? Who do you reckon? And while you wait for your predictions, Rach Letty, thank you for the five months. Uh, a lot of you saying Bill. I, I must admit, I'm a huge Bill Bailey fan. He's one of the first um, comedians that I used to watch. Uh, I actually met him in Australia. He won't remember this, but we were when me and Casper were on the Hit the Road tour in Australia, we were staying in a hotel and... Uh, uh, so except for the Discord karaoke next Sunday. <gasps> There's another Discord karaoke. Yes. Guys, if you're subbed, make sure you get in the sub chat on the Discord um, and get involved in the Discord karaoke next Sunday. Um, yeah, so we were in this, me and Casper in this hotel uh, on the Hit the Road tour. And Bill Bailey's a very, um, like when you see him, you know it's him. He hasn't got many lookalikes. Like you, he's, got a, he's got a distinctive look about him. And I was, I, and, um, we were going down for breakfast. I mean, you see this guy sat there having his breakfast. I'm like, that's Bill Bailey. And Casper, being South African, um, was like, who? I don't know. Who's that? Um, and I was, I, I, I'm always, I'm always, 
I never really uh I'm I'm quite an introverted person um in public I'm quite awkwardly I'm quite awkward in public sometimes and so I and one thing that I've always thought is that I never want to disturb um pe like people in public like I've I've been in situations where I've been um sat next to or sat in a restaurant or something by people like with other people who are very well known um and people are like just go over and ask for a, just go over and ask say hello or ask for a picture and I, can, I can never do it so i don't want to ever be that person that goes over and especially when they're eating especially when they're they're eating i've, I've always been a big believer in you shouldn't disturb people when they're in like a restaurant or a, in a thing um but with bill bailey i waited until i, I didn't do it i was like no i can't do it i can't do it so I waited and had my own breakfast, blah, 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 blah. Then uh, we went up to the room, got ready for our day. I think we're doing a show in Sydney or was it Sydney or Brisbane? I think it's Brisbane. Um, and came downstairs and um, bumped into him. Um, I think as he was leaving the restaurant. And I was like, I'm going to have to say something. So I just sort of said, oh, hi, hi, Bill. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan. Uh, we're, we're also on tour. Um, hope you're well. And he was really lovely. Cool story, Joe. That went on for a bit too long. But hey. That's my story. Um, is it just me that wants Jamie and Amy? Because uh, their names go well together. Jamie and Amy. It does, doesn't it? Their, their na team name though would be, just be Jamie. Or Amy. Just be Jamie. Would that work? Unknown Mallard, thank you for those bits. Oh, they just come through. I think it's on delay. Uh, Salvatore, oh, thank you for the five months. Happy belated birthday, thank you very much. Rach, thank you for uh, for the five months. Um, uh, I heard Phil Mitchell will be on the karaoke. Of course he will. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm the whole lineup. I think is I think is brilliant. They 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 do such a good job every year. Um, in picking, I think, and you always get what makes me laugh is that obviously now that I've done it. And actually been through it myself with everyone being like, who? Who? Don't know any of them. Don't know any of them. I won't be watching this year because I don't know any of them. I'm just like... <sighs> when, when, like... <laughs> I would love to meet these people that, that, that say that. Just like as a fly on the wall. Just watching how they comment this stuff. Because it's like... When has there ever been a TV show where someone's known every single person on there? Like, name a year back when that was... But that when that was the thing, <laughs> I've, I've never understood it. it. Doesn't make me angry. I'm just sort of like, what? Like people are so quick to jump on the I don't know them, so I'm not watching it bandwagon. But they're the people that are the super fans sometimes. That like, but they end up because they end up following everything, like everything about the show. They say they're not going to watch it, but they do. They watch it and know more about it than most common like um, just regular viewers. It makes me laugh does make me laugh and i was because i was one of those people and it's like why is it a bad thing if you don't know them as well because you're not supposed to so how are you supposed to know every single celeb or every industry in which people become a celeb within that industry if that makes sense it's, it's so rare that someone's going to know every single person but the whole joy is that you get to know them on the show um and watch them start to finish you know it's um it's always boggled my mind but once again like i said it doesn't boggle my mind because i'm numb this year when i look, looked at it i didn't i couldn't feel a thing i was just like what 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 a shock <laughs> um i like strictly because you get to know the celebs and their personality and watch them grow exactly need but also you know all the pros as well the pros the pros in my eyes are celebrities within their own rights you know and it's all about seeing how you know how they get on and like how they do together as partnerships and it's it's uh you can't you, you can't fault it i will not have anyone fault that show all right <laughs> but um who else who else are we enjoying a lot of you saying um who was it uh jamie yeah I'm so glad Jamie's back in it as well. Um, maybe Max. Yeah, I think Max would be great. I think Max would be good because he's been in, he's been in Glee, hasn't he? 
Uh, Maisie Smith will be good. Yeah, she'll be good. Because she won the um, Children Need Special last year. Uh, I think Maisie will be really good. I think Max will be... I think Max will be good. Um, Harvey will be good. Yeah, he can dance, can't he? Um... Yeah, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be, I think the bar will be high again this year, you know? I think it'll be good. Nicola will be good, yeah? Yeah. Um... <laughs> I think Bill, just so their team name can be Dill. <laughs> I'm sure that's what the, uh, the people that pick the partners are, that's how they do it. <laughs> so what will their team name be? Um, list of people I would trust with my drink. Number one, Joe Sugg. No explanation. End of list. Oh, thanks. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be great at holding your drink for you. Whilst you go and do what? <laughs> um, Harvey is quite a good dancer in his music videos. Yeah, I, I've heard. I've heard. I've heard he's got. I've heard he's got some moves. But will he be good in the ballroom? Ooh, different, different ball game. Different rules. That's what's good as well, I guess. I mean, there's people that are, that are known for being good dancers. Sometimes they struggle with the the ballroom stuff, but I think I think you'll I think you'll pick it up quick. They're singing "It's All About You" on BGT, and it's reminding me about the YouTube boy band. My God, that old fossil. I'm a fan of The Wanted, and the dance instructor quit because they were all, except Jay, so bad. Haha. <laughs> Max had improved on Glee, though. Oh, that's good. That's a funny story, though. Um, do you remember when you said yes to doing it? Yeah, I do, actually. I remember the day that I said yes. There's a video of me signing the contract, like signing my life away. I got Byron to film it. Um... Tasha Bruin, thank you for the five months with your prime. Uh, Hannah, thank you for the hundred bits. Remember when your team was going to be Doe instead of Joanne? Yeah, I do. Back in the... What could have been? We could have been Doe. We could have been Doe. Uh, for your series, I was convinced you were going to get partnered with Jeanette or Amy. So was I, to be honest. I thought that was what was going to happen, to be fair. Jamie Lee Sendel, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome. Um, yeah, no, I thought I was going to get one of those two as well because I um, danced with them a lot. I hardly danced with Diane in like the like warm up sort of um, bit, hardly at all. So it was a real shock. But it was fate. It was fate. Do you like David Bowie? I have a tattoo of him and like your kitchen artwork. I love David Bowie. Live Bowie. Um, he uh, with that art, with that art piece it's by an artist called The Ripper um, and he messaged me saying he'd love to make me an art piece uh, and I gave him a, sort of instructions on what I wanted I basically said I want like a, kind of an 80s style art piece so it's got like E.T. on there it's got Space Invaders on there like lots of 80s kind of pop culture stuff and I wanted the uh, the actual pitch to be of David Bowie or Bowie did you say Bowie or Bowie Imagine all the Doe fan accounts instead of Joanne's. I think the Doe, Doe fan accounts are actually more rare than the Joanne fan accounts. Haley Buzz, thank you for the five months with your prime. Five months with your prime. Ooh, ooh. The red ballerina on it, yeah. So he put that on there and he did the hair red on purpose. It's a little, little Easter egg. But yeah, I'm so I'm so excited for that show to start again. I feel like that's what we need, isn't it? We need that. <laughs> Might have to change art sug to do sug. <laughs> uh, do a deer, a female deer, ray for tropical and sun. Um, also, in other news, I got sent a parcel today. Um, from my sister and Alfie for my birthday the Stranger Things Lego set which I'm super excited about 
Although I'm not going to open it just yet because I feel like I'm going to wait and see what happens in winter because I'm worried that we're going to end up going into another bloody lockdown. And if we do, at least I've got that to, to keep me sane. Emily Grace, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, Ashton, thank you for the four months at tier one. Uh, M card, thank you for the five months at tier one. Thanks, guys. It's so nice to be back. Do you find TV acting different to stage acting? GG Jack. Good question. Yeah, I actually, do. I, it's very, it is different, very different. Because when you think about it, when you're act, I, I'm saying this like I've been doing it for years. I'm, you've got to realize I'm still very new to both things. Um, so don't necessarily take my word as like gospel and don't, I'm not making myself out to be like this sort of like guru because st I'm still very new to it all and still learning myself. But I found that when th with the theatre acting, you ba you're basically just, you're, you've got to project more. You've got to project everything outwards more. I had to be a lot more um, animated because you're trying to show show everything to the people at the in the, in the stalls at the back. You want to be able to make them see you. You've got to have a big stage presence and everything's got to be a bit more animated, I found. Especially with my character as, as Ogi, but with the with TV acting, you can say a lot more by being more subtle. So it's a lot more about just sort of like smaller facial expressions and not. I've I've um in my first scene, I kept moving my arms too much. So I, this one scene where I've just got my I have my hands in my pockets because I naturally when I speak I'm still got that little bit of theatre in me where I'm a bit sort of theatrical trying to you know spread it out to it for everyone to see um so uh so yeah no it's, it is different um but i like it it's, i'm learning a lot and i'm working with an amazing cast like the cast is so lovely i've been very very fortunate that everyone that i've worked with so far have been super lovely really like really um patient with me very encouraging like and helping me a lot i've learned a lot from my fellow cast mates um but also Kay herself is such a brilliant director um, and is amazing at what she does. So, and instantly makes, helps me understand what it is I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm in, I'm in real safe hands. Um, and they seem to be happy. They're happy with, they're happy with me, which is good. Cause that's, that's what I was dreading. I was dreading that I was going to turn up and then be like, then be like, oh no. <laughs> How come he was all right in the audition and now it's all just falling apart? But um, but no, they're super happy. So it's all very, very, uh, it's all going good. They gave you a nice birthday cakes. Yeah, they did as well. They gave me lovely birthday cakes. That was actually from my agent. My agent sent those birthday cakes up, but they got me a bottle of um, champagne and uh, the cast got me um, some a lovely card and some like uh, some like Yorkshire shower gel and soap and stuff. I think they're trying to tell me something. I stink, but um, you know, because I said when I'm in, when I'm when I'm up there and staying in the hotel, they they don't they don't have, the hotel doesn't have the best shower gel or shampoo. I was being a diva, right? And so they but they also got me this lovely um, picture frame with uh with all the cast me and all the cast in it, which is lovely. Uh, have you watched Umbrella Academy yet? No, I haven't had a chance. I watched I watched half the first episode. I fell asleep keep falling asleep well on the doctor who gig as well How, oh thank you yeah that's that's so cool it's gonna be like five episodes uh 10 minute episodes it's quite quite little short episodes but it's like it's all taken from a comic book called daleks back in the 1960s and they've sort of basically reimagined it and done it all now as little sh uh, animation shorts so i've got a little uh a little um cameo role as a as a sentinel robot which is cool um so that'd be fun. I do love Doctor Who. Such a brilliant show. And I've, I, it's, it's sort of been part of my life, I think, since I was a kid. Even watching like the old, the old, old episodes, like the old black and white ones around my nan and granddad's house. Just thinking, this is terrifying, but also really entertaining. Have you seen the new starters Sim 4 pack? No, I haven't seen anything to do with Sims 4. What's the new starter pack? Is there a new, is there a new, 
is there a new one? Ashton, thank you for the four months. Uh, Ray W6, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, MVBO, thank you for the 100 bits. Rach, thank you for the bits. It's Nissery, thank you for the three months. Thomas, thank you for the 200 bits. And MVBO, thank you. Or MVB official, sorry. Thank you for the bits. There's a Star Wars expansion pack. Since when? I don't believe that. Sims 4 Star Wars. Get out of town. Sims 4 meets Star Wars. What? No, I don't. Important update. I don't want to do an update. Just show me this. Show me this stuff. Oh, it came out on the 8th of September, so it's already out. Is it any good? Oh, that, is, that does look pretty cool, to be fair. Journey to Batu. You can get the lightsabers. Oh my god. It's my Millennium Falcon. That does look good. It looks good, but I think it's one of those ones where it's like, it's fun for the first. Maybe I'm wrong. Some of they've done expansion packs that are a bit sort of too far-fetched. But actually, this does look really cool. I think if you're a Star Wars fan, it's a, it's a no-brainer. It does look ah, it does look cool. There's a lot, there's a lot in there in that pack as well. Yeah, I'm sold. I'm sold. It's a story-based one. Yeah, see, I, I thought so. Apparently, yeah, apparently my episode of Bake Off, Lauren, I, my dad texts me and he said, "Oh, you're fainting on Channel Four right now." Um, so I knew exactly what it was on about. Hannah, thank you for the gifted sub. Nah, it's absolutely crap. Oh, don't tell me that. Should I get it or not? Um, where is your Falcon Lego thing? I moved it to under the stairs. I moved it. I didn't like it being in here. I felt like I was going to break it. It's a double take Death Star. Oh, see, that, I'm sold. Boom. I love it. My mum wants your apple and Biscoff tray bake recipe. It should be on the website, I think. But it was good. Like you can't go wrong. S like cinnamon as well. It's like it had a nice little spice to it. I mean, Diane broke it. Yeah, she did exactly. So now it's like hidden. Um, now it's hidden under the stairs. Scared Diane was gonna cut her toenails and break it again. How does that even happen? <laughs> First, you're on the sheep. Now, Doctor Who. I'm proud that all your childhood dreams are coming true. That rhymed as well sazzy um yeah no it's been good i think that's i'm i'm doing a lot of projects at the moment that are all things that are very like i'm doing them because they're they're either things that i loved as like growing up it's like things that are all quite close to me um which is good i like that i like that i'm doing I, i'm that's i think that's why i'm really happy i'm doing a lot of stuff at the moment which is um all good things that I'm really enjoying doing that I like to do. Uh, and I uploaded a YouTube video last week. <laughs> good Lord. I actually uploaded a YouTube video last week to my Thatcher Joe channel. Uh, the baby video finally went up. So you can stop getting on about it, me now, if you've already seen it. Uh, it was a Sug Sunday Bonanza. How's Bold Martin doing? Bold Martin is currently in a, uh, in a carry case bag that he came in. Um, in a cupboard somewhere. I think he's behind me in that cupboard. He's not been turned on since. He's not activated him since. Um, and yeah, RIP isolation uncle. Yeah, we had to destroy the um, the little cardboard igloo. That's no longer here. I've got another video. I'm going to try and edit it tomorrow. But I've got another video which I think is way better than the last one. I think this one people will actually be like, oh, do you know what? I might, I might watch this one. <laughs> I've got, I've got good ideas. The, the video that I'm gonna hopefully put out tomorrow, if I can get it edited in time, because I want to take my time with it and actually edit it, edit it properly. It'd be one of those videos where it's like, this is such a Joe Sug idea. Like, I've not seen anyone else do this video, not that I can see. Um, so it's gonna be one of those ones where it's either absolutely goes under the radar and everyone's like, nah, it's 
not even worth not even worth clicking or it's one where people are like I'm kind of intrigued to watch this just because it's so weird it's not it's not like acting or anything it's not like a skit or anything like that it's um it's a it is an unusual video <laughs> it's weird Lauren, thank you for subscribing with your Prime. Jerry, have you painted your nails? Yes, I have. Yes, I didn't paint them. Uh, someone else painted them for me, but it's for my uh, my character. It's for my character. I'm worried. When will you see Diane again? Um, no, not this, next week. I think not next week. Maybe the week after. I'm not 100 percent sure. I think it can change potentially, but um, hopefully soon. I did get to go and see her last, um, was it last weekend? There's certain times where you can go in and, and see. So tell me no one else can see it. See what? See what? I just feel sorry for poor Martin's neck. Are you gonna go live tomorrow? Uh, maybe, I think what, what I'm gonna try and do tomorrow is focus on getting this video edited for YouTube. Um, and then in the evening, if I manage to get it up in time, I might do a stream in the evening. Um, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and um, cook myself a roast dinner tomorrow. Spider. Oh, I'm not falling for that. Spider on the wall. I do not believe that. You can't trick me. Although it, it tis the season for spiders. Tis the season. Because um, September is always the, the when it starts to get colder, isn't it? Temperature drops. And all the spiders come out. Why is your foot just hanging? Why not, Beatrice? Why not? Since when are you not allowed to make let your foot hang down? What's wrong with that? Don't cut your finger and faint while while I was cooking your roast, Suggy. Hey, MVB MVB official, you need to realise no caps. No caps. <laughs> I'll let you off this once. Although it did get my attention. I won't. I won't cut, cut myself. Have you painted your toenails too? No, I haven't. I haven't painted my toenails. I, I'm, I'm shocked that you guys can even see a spider from here. There, you can see, clearly see there's no spider behind me. Plus there's no wall for it to be on. You're saying it's on the wall. What wall? There's no wall behind me. It's all mirrors, so I can see <laughs> straight away that there's no that there's no spider there. I'm not falling for it. Mini Minter, thank you for the two months, dude. T Rex behind you. Where? Then I would look. T Rex. His tiny little arms. Simon, what's the uh, what's the what's the Cybern Sunday video for tomorrow? I'm already waiting for it. Are you going on? I'm a celeb. No, not that I know of. Um, unless I've signed something in my sleep, I'm I'm not going on it. Have you been playing Fall Guys much? No, Amelia, I've not even had a chance. I've not I've not had a chance to do it. It's a secret, but it's a big one. All right, they're all big ones. Yeah, no, I, um, would you go on it? Uh, no, I don't think, I, I mean, I, at the moment, no, I, I, I wouldn't really have any desire to, to go on it. I think it's a great show, but I just, nah, nah, not, not for me. I love the idea of it. I do enjoy watching it, but I just don't want to go on it. I'm not scared before you say that. I'm not scared. I'm a celeb being filmed in a castle. Isn't it? That's yeah, so it's being filmed in a castle, isn't it? That's well weird. But it makes sense, I guess. Tori Hannah, thank you for the five months with your prime. <laughs> Joe doesn't want to roll it out in case he's desperate in ten years' time. 
<laughs> it's like you can read my mind. No, I'm joking. Uh, nah. I thought, yeah. When I when I when I turn sixty, I'll give it a go. For my sixtieth birthday, I'll do it. I've just got a feeling that I'm gonna one day just fly out to Australia to with Diane to go and see her family, and at the, at the airport, I'm just bag over my head, chucked it into a van. Next thing I know, I'm actually in the jungle, jumping out of a bloody aeroplane. No, thank you. My sister's screaming spider. There's no there's no spider. And even if there was, I'm not scared of spiders. So I wouldn't it could crawl over my over my foot and I would not care. <laughs> Unless I'm in Australia, then I then I do care. Because most of the spiders out there will kill you. I don't I'm not scared of spiders, snakes. Not scared of them. I was a, I held a python in a video once and I was a little bit scared of that because um, Jack Randall who was the guy who supplied said python uh, he told me actually he said a week after we filmed that video the python bit someone because it was a rehomed python and it's and it's rehomed because it was so naughty it had um, it had a tough upbringing so it had a he had a um, like a it had issues so it was um rehomed uh and bit someone the next week so and I, I did get a bit i did get an easy feeling from that python and i've held a few pythons in my time and that's not a euth euphemism but i've held a few pythons in my time and that one i just got bad vibes from it i could tell it just, it was it wasn't it wasn't happy tarantula is less i think tarantula is less scary than a an active python Tarantula's not too scary. They're actually really gentle. And you, the thing is, they give you a, like, a, a tarantula won't just bite you randomly. It'll give you a sign that it's going to bite you before it bites you. It like, it hisses and, and stuff, doesn't it? Would you ever do dancing on ice? No, I've answered this question so many times. No, I wouldn't. I think um, I've already done my fair share of dancing now. I like to stay on my on the ground. I'm not very good on the ice. I used to collect worms from the woods and keep them as pets. Emily sounds like my sort of upbringing. <laughs> why are we not allowed? Why are we not trusted with actual pets? Becca, thank you for the uh, one month gifted sub. I'm proper digging the nail polish. Yeah, it's um, it's cool, isn't it? New, new, new me, 2020. Throw new another curveball. Joe Sugg starts wearing nail polish. Not by choice. Not by choice. I'm in Scotland. And someone has made a bug hotel in the woods. That's such a good idea. I'd love that as a kid. Mr. Joe Liner. Yeah, I never brought that out. That could have been the best product. I tell you what, I've ordered this. Remember, I said it like about a month ago, two months ago, maybe three months ago. That I ordered a Apple pencil and an iPad. The Apple pencil arrived like the day after I bought it. The iPad still has not arrived yet. I'm hoping it'll arrive this week, as in like the week coming up. But I've been waiting for about three months. This iPad. Is that is that because of COVID as well, or do you reckon that's just because I ticked the box where it says delivered by carrier pigeon? What iPad did I order? Um, I can't remember. Let me check. Let me have a look. I, I'm not trying to flex on you, but <laughs> I'm not trying to flex on you. But I've ordered an iPad. Um, it's for my birthday. Uh, a 12.9 inch iPad Pro Wi-Fi in space grey. That's what I went for. And I'm an influencer, so now make make, make you want to go out and buy an iPad. That's how it works. Look at me with my iPad. Hashtag ad. <laughs> uh, does it say dispatched or not yet? No, it says it does. It does actually say on here dispatched in three to four weeks. 
since when? It's 2020. That's probably why, isn't it? Amazon, you order it, it's already at your doorstep before you've even finished the order. This is Amazon, Amazon Prime now. You're literally put it, put it in your basket, you're checking out. The guy's already the guy's already knocking at your door. On his push bike. Poor bloke. He cycled through the wind and rain to deliver me to deliver me something that I've only just clicked order on. <laughs> Feel sorry for him. Uh, but yeah, that's what I went for. And it's still not arrived. And I'm so excited to get get drawing. I've still been drawing a lot. I've still been doing a lot of drawing. Still got some big plans. Been working on certain things. Been working on this uh, this um, clothing idea. Trying to get it somewhere. Putting the plan in place. It's not going to be merchandise. It's not merch. It's not merch. It's bigger than merch. I think the factory can't make them fast enough. It's Apple. They're worth like how many? Like a trillion? Is they worth a trillion yet? 100 billion? I can't remember. But, dun 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 dun! Wiggy Dave, thank you for the five months. Five months of my life here. Well, it's been a great five months. Missed you, but glad you've been busy and enjoying it. Thanks, Wiggy. I missed you too, bro. Do you remember the time we pranked you? We pretend your video didn't play Laugh My Ass Off. I don't remember that because it's happened so many times where you've tried to prank me. So I just, I, I, I can't remember. You've got me a few times. Uh, I'll tell you what I haven't played a lot of recently. Um, I've been playing Tony Hawk's, the, the remastered version of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. So it's a love of those games back in like the 90s, early 2000s. Um, I played it. I've completed them both. I've completed them both. In the small amount of time I've had back home, I've completed both games. Absolutely seshed it. I'm good at the old Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games. I should. Um, you can play it online as well, so I should do like a game against Alfie sometime soon. That would be good. But yeah, I've 100%ed hundred, I've hundred one and two. I'm playing Simpsons. Which one? Simpsons Hit and Run. It's going to be a midnight stream. I don't know. What's time? It's 10 o'clock. Um, do you know what I might do? I, I do want to show you this Escape from Monkey Island game. I think you'd like it. It's a story game, but I, it's, it's, it's fun to play. I played it a lot when I was younger. Completed it when I was younger. One of the first games I actually completed probably back in the day uh, on my PS2. Um, but I can't remember how to play it. So it'll be like playing it again for the first time. And it'll probably be like, oh, actually, it wasn't as good as it used to be back in the good old days. That's usually what happens. But there's always hope. Aaron Donovan, thank you for the five months of your prime. Hey, five months. Thank you so much for these streams. You're welcome, Aaron. Always welcome. Oh, I can't say completed it. Yeah, sorry. Uh, um, finished the game. Saying that, have you seen um, James Buckley's in the, the ROG advert? Has anyone, got a, has anyone got a YouTube advert of James Buckley yet? It's the first time I've had one of these like long, long adverts, and I've not and I've watched it the whole way through. I mean, I never skip adverts, of course, but um, James is in an advert. It came from my recommend uh, on my as like a pre-roll, and uh, I was like, ah, oh, look who it is, and I sat there and watched it all. See, no one else has seen it. Finished it. Instead of instead of completed it, mate, it's finished it, friend. Stacy Dooley keeps coming up on my ads. I haven't had a Stacy Dooley ad yet. When does filming in Leeds finish? Um, I'm not too sure. I'll have to check me uh, my call sheet. And find out. Uh, Becky, thank you so much. Love that you're back. Misty streams. Where are my headphones from? They are Steel series. I think I got given them a long time ago. Uh, but they're, they're quite good. They get the job done. They're not too bad. I don't know what they're like for microphone because I use a posh microphone. Um, all, that comes from, all that comes up on my ads is gardenscapes. Sazzy, you've been looking into some garden 
uh, renovation videos. Prawn Hub, hello mate, how's it going? See, you've seen it, thank you. I thought it was going mad. Should I, should I try and get this game going then? I wonder if it'll work. Hmm. So what I want to do, I'll click play. Do I miss Di Diane being in that hoodie? I don't miss her taking my hoodie, to be fair. <laughs> She's probably got a few with her. Um, let me change it. You know it's an old game when you type start typing it in, it just doesn't come up on the games games thing. Right, okay. Click play. Hopefully this works. Hopefully this works. Hopefully this works. Can you hear that? Can you hear that music? If so, that's great. Yeah! It's an old game. It's a square because it's a really old game. You have to understand that. But this game will blow your mind. You'll love it. Trust me. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you. This game was an iconic game back in the day. This game shows your age. Sure, yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. It's an old, old game, but it's a classic. One of those games where you've got to look actually who made the game before you play it. So it's a point and click, it's kind of like puzzle game. Um, but it's a story based game. It's really, it's, it is really good fun. Trust me. Even the writing looks old. So basically you're, you're playing a pirate called Guybrush Threepwood. There he is on the left and there's Ma uh, Marley. Is her name Marley? His, his wife. But they're pirates. Is it better than Unread? Nothing's better than Unread. Hannah, thank you so much. Let's get back on. I hope everything's doing well and Dan will be back soon. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Project leaders, Sean Clark and Mike Stemmel. I wonder what they're up to now. Right, here we go. Enjoy, guys. The, the graphics are a bit questionable. It's, it's an old game. Okay. Somewhere off the coast of Maine Island. Of Guybrush Threepwood. Sometimes when it's quiet, I can still hear the monkeys. It's hard to believe that it's only been a few years since I first washed up on the beaches of Melee Island, armed with nothing more than a goofy name and an overpowering urge to become a swashbuckling pirate. I want to be a pirate. Who could have suspected that such a humble pursuit would lead me to cross swords with the evil ghost pirate LeChuck, the slimiest slug ever to plunder the Seven Seas? <laughs> And who could have guessed that my battles with LeChuck would introduce me to the love of my life? Melee Island's governor, Elaine Marley. Elaine, that was it. Sorry, not... not... Or that my efforts to win Elaine's hand would repeatedly drag me to the mystery-drenched shores of Monkey Island. That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Or that I would finally end the scourge of LeChuck, burying him beneath a mountain of ice. Not me, that's for sure. Back then, the only thing duller than my sword was my wit. Now look at me. I'm married to the most beautiful governmental official in the Caribbean. The entire Tri-Island area shudders at the sound of my name. And now my plunder bunny and I are returning to Melee Island after the most incredible honeymoon in the history of- Guybrush! Oh no. Uh, yes, dear. The graphics. Stop daydreaming and make yourself useful. But I'm tied to a post. The graphics. Okay, right, here we go. So we can move around like this. Look at any pirate. Uh, look at cargo hold. I remember that we have to. Uh, um, excuse me. I don't suppose you'd mind just leaving us alone. I'll give you all my milk money. 
Um, excuse me? So I can move him. I guess he doesn't want to talk to me. I can move him around and I can I can interact with stuff. So if I go over to this, look at Brazier full of hot coals and I press I for interact. I don't have a thing to my name. He hasn't got a thing to his thing name. To name. So I can't. There you go, use. I've knocked over the hot coals. Which is a good sign. I can look at pile of hot coals. Yeah. Use. I should try to pick one up if I want to try to do something with it. I should try to pick one up if I want to try to do something with it. Okay. This is like the Audi version of Sea of Thieves. Hey, wait. Yeah, you t you tell you tell James Buckley right now that I'm playing this game. He'll be like, "That's incredible." I don't have a thing to my name. Uh, so the controls are interact, pick up. Ah, so you want to press P for pick up on the hot coals, and let me start kicking them. Juggle them over here. I remember this. Juggle them over here and kick red hot chunk of coal at cargo hold break. We don't want that. We want loaded cannon. Okay, use kick it. It sets it off. That took me about four hours to work out when I first got this. Just like that, we've sunken their ship. Techers. Absolute techers. Could you untie me? <laughs> what do we think so far? I love that, Michelle. We love this game already. So act one, things to do on Melee Island when you're dead. Because everyone thinks, so you'll, 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 you'll figure this out. Look, there's a, there's a cut scene now and explain. It's a very funny game. The humor on this is very good. Pirate right over the rail. Now that's the stuff of pirates. I hope the loyal citizens of Melee don't hurt themselves. I mean, you know, all the pushing and shoving on the dock to see my, uh, well, our return. It'd be dangerous. Make sure this one stays on top. Then there was the swab who came at me with the rusty fid. I sure taught him a thing or two about the proper use of deck chairs. Whoa. Got it. The burden of being the governor of such an adoring yet unsophisticated public can be so draining. I'll be lucky if I can get a second to myself for months. You know, we make a great team. The way we communicate, the way we work together, the way we anticipate each other's every move. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Hmm. Oh, well, here it goes. Might as well get all the hullabaloo over with. What? Where is everyone? Maybe everyone went to bed early? Where's the welcoming committee? The banners? The crushing throng of well-wishers? Oh dear, do you know what this means? We can spend another three months honeymooning. No, you adorable numbskull. Something has gone horribly wrong while I've been away. N nothing else can explain. What's that? Hey, it's Timmy the monkey. How are you, boy? <laughs> Either the litter box is full or he's trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? Timmy? Is something wrong? Free grog at the scum bar? There's been an outbreak of scurvy? <laughs> you won 74 bucks playing bingo but lost it all playing banana futures. <laughs> There's trouble at the governor's mansion. Let's go. Oh no. Hmm. Let's try 17, 4.2, 12. Fire! Ah! What do you think you're doing? What does he look like I'm doing, fancy pants? I'm knocking down the governor's mansion. You can't go down like the me. governor's mansion without approval from the governor. Yeah. The governor's dead, ma'am. Dead? Was the marriage that killed her, they say. But I am the governor. Do I look dead to you? Uh, no, ma'am. Then cease and desist your boulder flinging immediately. Yeah. Sorry, Governor. I'm on the contract. I'm legally obligated to destroy your mansion with this here catapult. Something's rotten on Melee Island. I know. 
but the stench usually drifts away with high tide. I've got a plan. <laughs> Although it sometimes lingers during an eclipse. Oh, guy brush. Uh, yes, dear? I'm going down to City Hall to see about getting declared undead. Won't that make you a flesh-eating zombie? In the meantime, I need you to do two things for me. More back rubs and foot massages? And maybe later. First, <laughs> I want you to put a stop to this insane boulder flinging. Stop the insanity. Check. Second, I want you to go to Luker Island. Talk to my grandpa's lawyers. They might know how to help us fight City Hall. Oh, but I hate talking to lawyers. Not as much as they'll hate talking to you, dear. Okay. <laughs> well, I've got a resurrection to perform. Be good, dear. Oh, I love and this don't game. Forget, stop the catapult. Go to Luker Island. Sounds like the honeymoon's over. She was a lot nicer before she died. Sounds like the honeymoon's over. Right. So, for all of you that don't know, uh, don't know what's going on. So this guy, uh, my name is Guy Bruce Sweetwood, who I'm playing as right now. My girlfriend or wife is called Elaine Marley, and she's the governor of this island. So she's very important. Hence why we, they were expecting a welcoming committee when they came back, and there's no one there because they think that they died. Let's see. So, time hmm. to go and speak to this Let's guy. Try. Talk to Catapult 45, Inspector. Yeah. I don't have a thing to my name. Minus 14. Um, excuse me. What? Please stop firing boulders at my house. It's very unnerving. What are those numbers you're muttering? How would you like to join my crew of mighty pirates? You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return. Um, please stop firing boulders at my house. Please stop firing boulders at my house. It's very unnerving. Sorry about that, kid, but I'm under contract. Ah, oh, what, what are those numbers? numbers you're muttering? You know, I don't rightly know. They're supposed to be targeting numbers or something, but I'll be danged if I can figure them out. All I know is how to hit that cactus. I'm trying to extrapolate from there. So he's trying to hit the cactus over there. Could you show me how to hit the cactus? Nah, I only do that when I think the catapult's out of alignment. I wouldn't want to waste one of these boulders. They're expensive. <laughs> okay. You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. So what you need to do is... Fire! How do I... How do I move out of there? There we go. Let's run down here. Jump off cliff. There's an option to jump off the cliff. Do I do it? Okay. Goodbye, cruel adventure game. Eh, forget <laughs> it. Oh, damn it. Uh, let's go through here. Walk to Melee Town. Let's go. So what we've got to try and do, uh, chat, is we've got to try and put the... We need to, I think, put the catapult out of alignment uh, on purpose so he hits the cactus. Something to do with hitting the cactus. I remember something to do with hitting the cactus is really important. Let's go into this pub. I think this is the pub. Uh, enter the International House of Mojo. All right. Let's go in here. All right. What we got? What we got? Uh, look in strange, strange what mirror. Strange mirror. What a strange. I don't have a thing to my name. Okay. What a strange mirror. What a strange mirror. Look at a handshake hmm. table. This table must have been a hand-me-down. I don't have a thing to my. Hmm. This table must have been a hand-me-down. Alright. Beady. Beady there. There's nothing actually in here. Sea slug pate. Essence of worm-ridden seagull. Hmm. Oh, that's really, really disgusting. Alright, there's nothing in here we need. Let's get back out of here. It's that someone's house. Can we go in there? No. Oh no, I think I'm stuck. Oh, no. Let's go this way. Oh! Hello. Ahoy there, fellow seafaring wastrels. Ah! Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, you uh, startled us. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I startled. <laughs> you two look awfully familiar. You two look awfully familiar. Oh, we have very common looking faces. Isn't that right? Oh, definitely. Can't swing a dead Chinook around here without hitting someone who looked like us. We did. We did. We run into each other last summer on Fat Island. Didn't we run into each other last summer on Fat Island? We've never been to Fat Island. And never in the summer. Are you sure we haven't met? Are you sure we haven't met? Drop it, Threepwood. Hey, how'd you know my name? 
doesn't everyone know the name of Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate? True, but I still think you guys look familiar. Uh, dudes, aren't you founding members of Keelhaul, the world's loudest pirate speed metal band? This one. Didn't we share a cruise to Monkey Island once? I don't think so. Carla, make the bad man stop. He's come to take us back to Monkey Island. Carla? Uh, who? You can't fool me. You're Carla, the Swordmaster of Melee Island. And you're Otis. I don't know what you're talking about. Let it go, Otis. The half witch recognized Jones. us. I knew you guys looked familiar. You were two-thirds of my original Monkey Island crew. The crew you abandoned on Monkey Island, you mean? Do you have any idea how difficult it is to escape from Monkey Island? No. How difficult is it to? Escape from Monkey Island. Um, well... <laughs> It's really difficult. Yeah. The whole experience was very traumatizing. Scared us for life. Gee, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry doesn't feed the narwhals, Buster. So what have you rap guys been up to? Won't you join my crew for old time's sake? Yeah. Won't you join my crew for old time's sake? Guybrush, take a good look at Otis. Monkeys! Monkeys is full of the monkeys! That's what happened to him the last time we agreed to be part of your crew. Now, what in the name of Blackbeard's dandruff could possibly convince us to join you in another idiotic adventure? Well, how about... A brand new car! Treasure, photos of treasure, some lovely property off the coast of Booty Island, cushy government jobs, my undying and conditional gratitude baby. Come to think of it, I can't think of a good reason. What one should I go for, chat? What are we saying? I think cushy government jobs is the one they like. Cushy government jobs. Hmm, that yeah. sounds interesting. Carla, what are you doing? What kind of cushy government jobs are we talking about? You know, the kind where you're paid three times the going private sector rate, no one checks your work, and it's impossible to be fired. Don't listen to him, Carla. He just wants to take us back to Monkey Island. We'd want contracts, of course. I'll see what I can do. Be oh. seeing ya. Not if we see you first. <laughs> Should we get him jobs? Let's go this way. Enter door. Is this the pub? What's in here? Guybrush, what are you doing here? Uh, oh. looking for a bathroom? Quit fooling around and stop that cat's ball. Alright, sorry. Oh, back out here again. Nightmare. Okay, let's go this way. Let's head this way. Oh, here we go. Let's go... So if we go... Let's go this way. No, not this way. Ah. Turn around. Yeah, down here. Megan, thank you for subscribing for three months. There's a ship for sale. That's what we like to look up. Look at pop, popped inner tube. Oh, we want that popped inner tube. Let's pick it up. We'll have that. Let me put away let's put that away because that inner tube we can put on the um i'm not picking that up look at changing return it's slot this is changing there. look at the grog machine i sure could go for a nice refreshing grog right now um what we can do i'm guybrush mark threepwood and I need a ship. How nice for you. And just what do you want me to do about it? Are you the harbor master? Are you the harbor master? No, I am the harbor mistress. My full title is Chief Assistant Shipyard Regulator, Harbor Operations, Melee Island, a division of Inter Island Transportation Services. Which means? Which means I'm in charge of ship allocations on Melee Island. Baby, you can be in charge of my ships any day of the week. I'm commandeering a vessel. You must be some kind of ship expert to land such an important and specialized job. All this red tape is giving me a headache. Uh, what should we go for? This one. You must one. be some kind of ship expert to land such an important and specialized job. Nope. Don't know anything about them. And I can't stand sailing. I'm just paying my dues until I get a supervisor's job. Uh, Baby, you can be in charge of my ships any day of the week. What? Are you trying to seduce a government employee? Uh, no. So, no. Uh, you're in charge of the ships. Kind of snooty for a glorified barnacle watcher, aren't you? 
I'm coming I'm during coming during a vessel. Not so fast, mister. No boat leaves this harbor without my permission. And I see no reason to give you permission to take one of my boats. But Stan said I could. I'm married to the governor. Come on, give me a boat. I'm married, I'm to, the married to the governor. I heard she was dead. Well, she does have her quiet moments, but she's alive and back on melee and ready to govern. Oh, so she's just been on vacation all this time, huh? That's nice. She won't be governor for long. I'm voting for Mr. Charles. He promised me a promotion. Uh, Jan, thank you for the four months. Beth, thank you for the five months. Megan, thank you. Um, come on, just give me a boat. Just give me a, just give us a boat. Uh, Don't like boat. this woman. The rules prohibit just give us a boat. Regulator, that would be me from lending a boat to anyone who does not have proper authority. That would be you. What would it get you to take a look of the way? Hands work again. Is there some sort of loophole? What would it take to get you to the way? Come on. What would it take to get you to look the other way? I really hope that you aren't trying to bribe an employee of the Malay Island government. Not that I care what happens to you, but I really don't want to fill out the paperwork. Ugh. Come on. Just this once? For me. Not for you or anyone. Rules were meant to be followed. Just She's prove not to budging. me that you have the authority to requisition a ship, and I will follow procedure to supply one. Fine. Never mind. Now that I can do. All this red tape is giving me a headache. Don't say I didn't give you anything. Right, I've had enough of her. She's not helping us at all. Let's just take a ship. Oh, I like that one. I like this one. I'm struggling to walk. Ah. Uh, this one. I can see why this ship hasn't been sold. We're gonna have that one, I reckon. All right, let's go back. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that lady. She's not budget. She's not gonna sell us a ship. There's a coin in this. I'm sure it's a bit of change. A coin in this slot machine. You take that. Look. Look at change return slot. It's empty. It's empty, okay, there's nothing in there. Alright, let's head back. Follow the path. Let's go... Where's the pub? There's definitely a pub here somewhere. Let's go up here. Go to Meat Hooks. Meat Hooks House of Wax. Alright. Hey, look, a full moon. Alright. Meat Hook. I don't know who this Meat Hook guy is. I can't remember. But... Off the beaten path. There we go. It's locked. Knock on Meat Hook's front door. Knock, knock. Who's there? Anybody home? No. Go away. Then who are you? Then who are you? Uh, no one. There's no one here. But there's supposed to be a wax show today. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. The sign out here says there is. Uh, here, there. Well, it's cancelled. It's okay, it's me. Me who? Uh... Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. <laughs> nice try. Guybrush and Elaine are dead. I know why you're here, and you can't have it. What are you talking about? Stop pretending, you greedy old man. You What's think going you on? can just buy up the whole island just because you can insult people? Well, think again. You can't take my house away from me if you can't get in. I knew I shouldn't have fixed that bridge. When do you expect someone to be home? Later. Much later. Finish running your wife's errands first. There's nobody home. Now go away. Okay. I'll come back later. Right, okay. So, something's happened. Someone's trying to buy up all the island. Um, let's... Do you know what I think we should do? Let's go to the house. Because what we can do now is that inner tube that we got, we can put it... The plan is, put the inner tube on that cactus. So then when he fires a boulder at the cactus, it will spring back and damage his catapult. Look. What an odd looking cactus. This popped inner tube. We get it out. Use popped inner tube with funny looking cactus. Look, watch this. Boom. Hmm, there you go. Not a bad piece of modern art, if I do say so myself. Now let's head back down. Speak to this guy and tell him it's, it's out of calibration. And then hopefully. Um, excuse me. What? 
We take here some. Uh, Could you show me how to hit the cactus? Nah, I only do that when I think the catapults out of alignment. I wouldn't want to uh, waste one of these boulders. They're expensive. So what we got to do now? You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your. We've got to try and we've got to, when he's not looking. I oh, oh, something. Talk catapult. Alter it. We just move the catapult. Hey, get away from there before I pop you one on the head. Capiche? Right. Okay. So we can't mess around. We need to Good. distract him. Now stay over there, pencil neck. Forty five. Pencil neck. Nine minus six. So that's in play. We just got to somehow make him. We've got to make him get away from his catapult so we can deconfigure it. Do you know what I mean? Let's head back this way. And then we can destroy the catapult and get into the house and get the deed to prove that we can get a boat. Boom. See you later, guys. Keep walking this way. I think the pub's this way. There it is, the scum bar. The scum bar. Haven for the rowdiest bunch of drunken scallywags you'll ever see. Let's get in there. Come on. Let's go in there. Right, talk to the short darts player. Let's go. Ahoy, mateys. Buzz up, buzz of breath. Yeah, can't you see we're busy here? Pencil neck. You're in a dart. You're in a bar playing darts. Is this busy? You're in a bar. You're playing darts. This is busy. Listen, we're playing for the title of Grand Master Dart Champion of Melee Island. Yeah, and unless you're good enough to compete, which you aren't, we'd advise that you take a long walk off a short pier. I'm a dart throwing maniac. Why are there so many holes in the wall around your dart board? Would you strap in young specimens? Let's join my pirate crew. Who's winning? I guess we're showing off. Who's, Who's winning? winning? Right now, we're in a dead tie. Let's ask again. Who's winning? Right now, we're in a dead tie. Uh, I'm a dart throwing maniac. throwing maniac. Really? Back in grade school, they called me the Dart Master, or something that rhymed with that, anyway. <laughs> Fart so, Master. Can I join your game? No. no. All right. Well, do you want to join my pirate would crew? Would you strapping young specimens like to join my pirate crew? I would, but once I win the melee championship, I'm gonna have to go on tour to win the Tri Island Dart Throwing Championship. Actually, you will be able to join this crew since I will be winning the melee island championship. Says you, Swabby. Knows me, cracker brain. Well, I, was... I guess I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? These guys, what is going on? Everyone on this island sucks. Talk to gregarious yet horribly scarred bartender. All right. Hail and hello, oh master of all things grog like. What can I do for you, Mr. Marley? Uh, three foot. All oh, right, uh, sorry about that, Mr. Threepwood. This place is quieter than a crypt full of mines. How would you like to join my crew? Pirates, got any snacks? Grog me, barkeep. I've got troubles. I gotta go. Give me a grog. Grog me, barkeep. Why are you be glad to? After you show me some ID. ID? I don't gotta show you my stinking ID. Since when did grog groggeries check for ID? I left it in my other pants. What? Don't I look like I'm 14? What? Don't I look like I'm 14? Actually, you look like you're about 15. But we're carding anyone who looks under 23 just to be safe. <laughs> oh, Darth Man, thank you so much for subscribing for three months. J uh, Jan MH, thank you so much for four months. Um, got any snacks? Any snacks? I've got some pretzels. Well, that seems harmless enough. Yep. The Scumbar's famous Kudu jerky pretzels. Ooh. Got anything else? Mm, not really. Okay, let's have some. Sorry, can't give you any. What? Why did you. That drunk at the table over there? He has the last basket. Can't you give them to me without a basket? Sorry. It's scumbar policy. <laughs> Are you sure I can't have just a few pretzels? You really don't want to carry these babies around in your bare hands. You're probably right. That's the spirit. See if the inebriated fellow over there will see fit to give you some. Right, okay. Let's go and try and get these pretzels off this old guy. He's drunk. Where is he then? Oh, it's his birthday. Look, he's got a birthday balloon. Ah. Oh, there's the pretzels, look. There's the pretzels. Mmm, kudu jerky pretzels. Pick them up. Go for it, go for it. Oh no, we can't. We can't nick his pretzels. I guess he doesn't want anyone taking his birthday pretzels. Hi there, fellow swashbuckler. Ballsack. Ballsack? How would you like to join my crew on a dangerous piratey mission? Uh, 
We'll be pillaging a small coastal village. You look like a busy man. I'll let you get back to your self-destructive binge drinking. Right, okay, so we can't... See, what we're going to have to do is talk to the crust crusty sailor. <laughs> he does look crusty. Look at that chin. Person. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. What's your name? Cheese, Ignatius Cheese. What big arms you have, Mr. Cheese. The better to insult arm wrestle with, Mr. Threefoot. Don't you mean insult sword fighting? Nay. While you were away, the insult sword fighting paradigm became attached to a host of other pirate pastimes. Paradigm? Well, nowadays you can't throw a dart or, or play a game of checkers without being expected to toss in a withering bon mot. I think I tossed a bon mot in a food fight once. My particular <laughs> speciality is insult arm wrestling, which I use to defend my bar from hostile takeovers. Tell me again about this thing you call insult arm wrestling. I thought I'd made myself clear. It's just like insult sword fighting, but with arm wrestling. Ah. I want to do it. Wait a minute. Your name is I Cheese? I. Cheese? I. <laughs> How would you like to join my crew of mighty pirates, Mr. Cheese? And what, pray tell, might I be finding myself doing if I joined this crew of mighty pirates? You'd be helping a band of bloodthirsty uh from the village. Looking for treasure, treasure Luca Island. Yeah, this one. You'd be traveling to Luca Island with a crew of Cretanous buccaneers to meet with my wife's lawyers. Now that sounds like a worthy mission for a mighty pirate navigator like yourself. Really? I the seas around Luca Island are very treacherous and can only be navigated by a skilled sailor. I'd love to face that challenge, but but what? I can't. Oh no. Why not? Is your keister glued to that chair? Well, yes, now that you mention it, it is. <laughs> but that's not why I can't go, Mr. Wizen Pirate. Well, then why? Because if I leave my bar for too long, it'll be stolen out from under me. You're the owner of the scum bar? I, the one and only. What makes you think that the scum bar is going to be stolen? Well, it's like this. I've been fighting off a hostile takeover bid from an Australian land developer. Come again? You heard me. A greedy Australian is making a grab for my bar. With guns and swords and cannons? Worse, with insults, jibes, and muckeries. It's taken all of my insult arm wrestling skill to keep him at bay. Gosh, if it weren't for the whole wife being declared dead thing, I'd say that was the strangest thing I'd heard all week. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Is there something I can do to convince you to navigate my ship to Lucar Island? Yeah, it's got to be something. Is there something I could do to convince you to navigate my him. ship to Lucar Island? I'm open to persuasion. What do you have in mind? If I beat you at arm insult arm wrestling, will you be my navigator? Yeah, let's do that. If I beat you at insult arm wrestling, will you be my navigator? Hmm, that's an interesting proposition, Threepwood. It is? I mean, of course it is. How about this? If you beat me, I'll be your navigator. Great. But only if you teach me some new insults. Agreed. Well then, let's see what you've got. All right, we've got a game of insult arm wrestling on our hands. Uh, today, by myself, 12 people I've beaten. From the size of your gut, I guess they were eaten. Oh, I ain't man. gonna put your arm in a sling. Put your arm in a sling for the size of your, uh... Wait, what, you studying to be a nurse? Yeah. Uh, why? You studying to be a nurse? Nice. You got on the ropes there. Uh, I'm gonna... My 80, 80, my 98-year-old grandmother has bigger arms than you. Uh, my 98-year-old grandmother has bigger arms than you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's bad. We got him on the ropes. Uh, my stupefying strength will shatter your own into a million pieces. What a surprise you can count that high. Oh, that's oh, good. Knuckles are grind to a splintery paste. From the size of your gut, I guess you're eating now. It said that's what you're scratching. I go see a vet. It's too bad none of them are in your arms. An over-the-counter defoliant could help with that problem. Uh, sadly, your breath should be equally reckoned. I want to stop about your whining. I'm sure that spineless creatures everywhere are humbled by your might. Yeah, I know. It's a three-headed monkey. He must have taught you everything you know. Ah, what? Yeah, but we've got both got a better bladder control than you do. Was it a splintery paste? I thought that I thought that bean dip had a strange taste. That one. Uh, I thought that the bean dip had a strange taste. Uh. Yes, got him. Um. <laughs> 
Do I see quivers of agony dance on your lip? It's laughter that's caused by your feathery grip. Oh, no. My stupefying strength will shatter your all up into a million pieces. I'm surprised you can count that high. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. Right, I'm surprised you can count that high. Come on, we got him on the ropes. People consider my fists lethal weapons. Sadly, your breath should be equally reckoned. Oh, I know. They've got muscles in places you've never even heard of. I've got muscles in places you've never even heard of. An over the counter defoliant should have that problem. That's too bad that none of them are in your arms. <laughs> it's too bad none of them are in your arms. Oh, that's a burn. That's a burn. Uh, give up now or I'll crush you like a grape. Oh, yeah. Yes. We've got him good. We've got him on the ropes. Um, only once have I met such a coward. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. Yes, you got him. You've beaten him. I won. You did. Fair and square. Yes. Congratulations. You got yourself a navigator. But now we're going to lose our... We're going to lose our bloody... He's going to lose his bar. It's all, it's all my fault, kind of. Right, let's talk to these dark players. We need to, we need to, we need to play. Oh, again, mateys. We need to. Excuse me. Hey. Why are they not talking to us? Come on. Uh, why, why aren't you playing insult dark why throwing? Why are you playing insult dark throwing? The official Tri Island dart throwing semi professional league rule book clearly states all dart competitions must be won by dart throwing skill, not by any other means such as bribery, insults, threats, or otherwise. Are you sure you won't join my crew? Nah. Nah. Uh. Why are there so many holes in the wall around the dartboard? Those are uh, from other players. Yeah, we never miss a shot. Get out of here. No, really. Pick your number. You'll hit it. Right. I bet you can't hit that balloon over there. I Boom. bet you can't hit that balloon over there. Oh, trying to be tricky, huh? Watch this. Here we go. Ah! Yes, and now we can just nick his pretzels. Wow, that's pretty good. Well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? Nice. So now we can go and take his pretzels. Let's grab these pretzels. Uh, pick them up. I guess he won't be needing these anymore. Boom. Lovely. I think we can give them these pretzels to the... Let's give these pretzels to the um, catapult operating guy. I've got a feeling that's what, uh, that's what we've got to go with them. I'll just be scooting along here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I want pretzels now. Beth Rose, thank you for the four months of your prime. Hey, get away from there before I pop you one on the head, capiche? All right, mate. All right, all right. Good. Now stay over there, pencil neck. 49. Right, let's get these out. 7.9 minus 11. Offer bowl of jerky press to the cap at auto race. Right, here we go, look. Fire! Hey there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just a sec. Yes, look. Here, here I brought you some kudu jerky pretzels. Really? Thanks. I really appreciate this. You're welcome. You know, you could thank me by not chucking big old boulders at my house. I could, but I won't. Now leave me alone for a minute while I eat these. <laughs> oh, ungrateful. Right, let's put these away. And now, let's tinker with the old machine. Tinker with the catapult. Yes. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. You totally messed up my catapult. What you trying to do to me? You're killing me over here. Well, guess I'm going to have to start over with my calibration cactus over there. Get yes. out of my way. It's working out perfect. I hope this works. There. It's 
recalibrated set of characters. Let's try it. Here we go. Watch this. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. I got a good feeling about this one. Load it in. And fire! fire. Yes! Nice! Oh, still working. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Do you have any idea what those things cost? They don't grow on trees, you know. <laughs> Guess what? I'm still dead. But don't worry. I'll love you even after rigor mortis sets in. We've been gone so long they didn't think I was coming back. But those numbskulls at City Hall declared me dead at sea. What about me? Did they say anything about me? No. Then they decided to sell all my belongings and destroy the mansion. That's terrible. Did they sell any of my stuff? A and the worst part is, they've ordered a new election for the office of governor. Hmm, maybe I should run. So far, there's only one candidate. And, you know, the old slogan, when there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Who are you? The name, Mr. Threeford, is Charles L. Charles. But you can call me He's the next governor like me. of Melee Island. You can't be the governor. I'm the governor. And it's a lifetime term. Well, that's the rub, isn't it? You've been declared dead. So I've heard. How did that happen? Who can say? Uh, perhaps if you'd spent a little more time governing, and less time gallivanting all over the Tri-Island area with your pet monkey, the good citizens of Melee wouldn't have come to the mistaken conclusion that you were pushing up the petunias. Wait a second. Was I the pet monkey in that last sentence? Okay, <laughs> we get it. You're running for governor. But why destroy my mansion? Oh, that. When you died, the mansion became the property of the state. As a favor to me, the future governor of Melee Island, the town elders contracted a demolition firm. That's me. To destroy this outdated bourgeois symbol of the elitist piratocracy. But why? Because the days of pirate princesses ruling from secluded mansions are over, my friend. They are? Indeed they are, lad. If the Melee Island of tomorrow is to prosper, it must be governed by a man of the people. A man unafraid to mingle with the common folk. A man who won't hide in a mansion guarded by vicious piranha poodles. A man like you? Precisely. He makes a lot of sense, Elaine. I never did like those poodles. Uh, Guybrush! Well, I've got hands to kiss and babies to shake. Ta! There's something fishy <laughs> about that guy. Really? I thought he smelled more like a rotting corpse. I've got another plan. With maybe a hint of oregano. Uh, Guybrush! Uh, yes, dear? I'm going back to City Hall to run against Charles. Woohoo! How can I help? Go to Lucre Island to talk to the family lawyers. But why? I destroyed the catapult. Yes, dearest, I know. But with that demolition order hanging over the mansion, another catapult could come at any moment. We need the kind of restraining order that only my family lawyers can provide. But I want to come up with clever campaign slogans and do ops research. Guybrush, love of my life, I'm a politician. Let me do what I do best. I'll let you do what you do best. What's that? Sailing around the Tri-Island area on seemingly pointless errands. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? Oh, what I meant to say was venturing into troubled waters on dangerous quests. Well, okay then. That's more like it. Okay. I'm off to start my campaign. Don't spend too much time on Lucre Island, dearest. Right, so now we've got to go to a new island. I'm going to go into the house. I think we can go to the house now. Yeah, that's good. Can we go inside? Yes, we can. Because we need a form. We don't own many coats in these tropical climes. What a strange lamp. I like that lamp. Yeah, I meant strange as in strange and wondrous. Of course you do, dear. The door. door to our bedroom. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sound like Byron then. Oh, look at government. What does it say? Look at government job contract. Header says melee government employment contract. Let's take that because we can give that to the lady. 
to give us a boat. So we take that, or we can offer a pretzel, but I think this is better. It's a government paper of some sort. Yes, take that as well. I like this kind of commode better than the one in the bathroom. Nah, eh, most of this stuff is Elaine's. I wouldn't want to deprive her of her favorite trinkets. Groovy banner. For some reason, it makes me want to write a hog. <laughs> I've got no time for easily mastered games like chess. Okay, right, let's leave. So. Um, if you don't know what's going on so far, we, we've come back to our island uh, and people think we're dead. So they declared us dead. We're trying to prove that we're still alive. I've got to go and find Elaine's lawyers. Um, I've managed to stop the house from getting destroyed. But now we need to go to the... Uh, should we go in this house now? I feel like if we go in here now, someone will be in here. Anyone in here? Hello, hello. What a strange mirror. No, nothing in here. It's weird there's nothing there. Oh, maybe we can go to... Can we prove to old matey boy yet? Meat hook. We need meat hook. Let's go down this way. We do need to con convince... Oh, meat hook, don't we? Um, entry, we've got government paper, government job contract form. Let's go for government paper. Give government paper to hire mistress. I don't think she'd like that. What? Of course she would. The header says, Melee government employment contract. Cushy edition. Ah, that is for... No, that's for the other two. Let's get out... Government job contract form. I don't think she'd like that. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Well, let's give those to our friends. Remember, they, they want cushy government jobs. So if we go over here, uh, hey, you two. There we go. Is this some kind of joke? What? This contract is not even being signed by the governor. <laughs> we may be down on our luck, pirates, but we're not stupid. Come back when you've got a signed contract. Oh, no. Oh, for goodness sake. I've got to get it signed by, by the old wife, and I? Right, okay. Damn it. I knew I didn't do something right. Oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send off these um, contracts. And I'm going to call it a night there. Because it's almost 11 o'clock. But I'll save it and we'll come back to this game another time. Because I do enjoy this game. I do like games like this. Yes, the 686 man. Monkey Island. It's, it's, a, it's an absolute classic. Dearest, I thought we agreed that you wouldn't right. be spreading your messy inventory over our nice clean floor. Uh, sorry, honey. This will only take a moment. Yeah, sign it. Sign it, sign it. There we go. Thanks, Emily Grace, What's for the bits. For? I'm not sure. Thanks, Beth Rose. I just have a hunch that a signed government contract might be useful. All right, let me sign it. Yes. That's our crewmates done. That's also so that's signed. Not this one. Cushy government job contract form. Give that to Elaine. Sign that one as well. Another though. contract? Just to be safe. Well, so much for my status as a reform candidate. All right, let me sign it. Broken sword. Ah, okay, I'll try that. Is the graphics as good as this? <laughs> right, so let's give these signed government cushy jobs to Carla and Otis. And then... 
we've got three crew members and we just need meat hook as well but how do we how do we get meat hook again because he doesn't believe it's us maybe one of those contracts is for meat hook right right guys signed cushy government job contract this is the one there you go they can't resist that wow you actually got us a signed contract well let's see mm hmm yes ah yes good aha um carla do you even know what half of this stuff means not a clue but look it says cushy in the title wait all right then all right three foot you got yourself a crew yes boom so now let's go to meat hooks it's basically another point and point and click uh way too old school Hella fun story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out after this stream. See, is it on Steam? I wonder if it's on Steam. There's another game that I'm trying to get hold of. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Pink me again. Panther, Go. Passport to Peril. My God, that was a good old game. Uh, let's try sign government contract job. Would this work? I'm not sure if Elaine would approve of that. Oh, ask for Moon. Let's see what's the Moon. Who's that one for then? The header says Melee Government Employment Contract. Maybe that's the boat ladies. Because give sign government to meet his front door. I'm not sure if Elaine would approve of that. No. Damn it. Meat hook's a mystery. How are we supposed to get meat hook on our side? Maybe we've got to, maybe we've got to go. To the other island first, Luca Island, full hand. Let's go back to this lady here. Give signed government job contract to the Harbour Mistress. I don't think she'd like that. No, she doesn't want that either. Who are we giving this contract to then? Not Cheese. Cheese is already keen. Cheese is ready to do it. Maybe we'll go to Carla or Otis. Is it for the navigator? No, I thought that, but I don't think it is because he's already keen as mustard. Maybe it is. I'll try it. I'll try it. Uh, Mr. Cheese! I've got something for you, mate. I still got pretzels as well. I don't think he'd like that. Nah, it's not Mr. Cheese's either. think he'd like that. Well, who does want this? Hey, get out of the way! Oops. All right, mate. And I don't think he'd like that. Hey, get out of the way! Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hmm. Who are we giving that? Giving this to then? It's not for the navigator. It's not for anyone in the pub, the bar. I wonder. We got pretzels and we have got another. Form. I feel like, can we get inside this house here? Enter door. Ah, we haven't been here before. What's in here? Oh, sweet. This has absolutely trolled me. Fell for that, fell for it. There's something I've got to put in here, but I don't know what it is. Like, Because you can summon like a, a, a voodoo person. The smell of this basket brings back horrible memories of Puerto. That's quite a thumb. That's quite ah, a thumb. I think I like interact with That's one of the thumbs. Thumb. Yes, look, here we go. Nothing happened. Oh, no. Here, it's one of these fingers, yeah. Nothing happened. Hmm. Pink, it's the pinky. The pinky, look. Nothing happened. Ah. Look at ring finger. Let's try that one. Nothing happened. What? Yikes. Oh, there we go. You fool. Hey, it's you. Yes, it is I. 
You seem to show up whenever I'm in trouble. Why? Who can say? Perhaps it's because we share an unspoken magical bond. Perhaps the fates have intertwined our destinies. Or maybe I've got an unbreakable five-game deal with LucasArts. <laughs> In any event, I'm here to help. How can I assist you, Gaidesh Riku? I don't know what to do next. The cards have foretold that you seek direction. How do I get to Luker I Island? I Luker Island. It's a fairly simple procedure. Get on your ship. But I don't have a ship. So find one. Must I draw you a map? Then assemble your crew. Then sail to Lucra Island. How can I help Elaine win her re-election? That depends. What do you know about politics? Absolutely nothing. Then, short of stuffing the ballot box, I don't see how you can help her. Great. Better get a stuffing. But if you get caught, the Mele Town Council will string you up, stuff you with crawdads, and let pirates whack you like a piñata. I don't think I like that idea. Perhaps it would be best if you steered clear of the election. Tell me again how to get to Luker Island? It's a fairly simple procedure. Get on your ship. But I don't have a ship. So find one. Must I draw you a map? Then assemble your crew. Then sail to Lucra Island. Hmm. Actually, I think I can figure out what to do next all by myself. Very well. I sense that you wish to dabble in the dangerous voodoo arts. What did you have in mind? You've got any of these evil destroying voodoo dolls, have one of those invisibility necklaces that help me sneak into women's locker rooms. Do you have any Templar strength elixirs in stock? Um, I'm in the market for an enchanted hunter sword. Can I get any snacks? I'm starving. Have you got any snacks? I'm starving. <laughs> I left my gum machine in Puerto Pollo. You might want to try the scum bar if you're really hungry. On second thought, I probably shouldn't be shopping at a time like this. True. Uh, I thought we chat for a while, have a long time, so you... I can see that you're still fumbling for direction. Actually, I think I can figure out what to do next all by myself. Hmm. Very well. I don't need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. Right, okay, so that was actually a waste of time. Where are we where are we going? I think it's, it's something something to do with this. It's this boat place. We've got to go down here and just nick a boat, I reckon. I sure could go for a nice refreshing grog, right? I can't use this machine. I don't have any money. Oh. Hi. I'm back. Nice night for a sail, huh? It would be if you had a boat. I'm commandeering a vessel. Not so fast, mister. No boat leaves this harbor without my permission. And I see no reason to give you permission to take one of my boats. But Stan said I could. Name dropping won't get you a boat. Kinda snooty for a glorified barnacle watcher, aren't you? You're just jealous of my cushy government job. It would be even better if I didn't have to put up with the likes of you. Wow. Do you know what? All this red tape is giving me a headache. Don't say I didn't give you anything. It's just too much for me. What's down here? Yeah, nothing interesting down here. Okay. Ah, what's down there? Hmm. I don't know what to suggest, guys. We're a little bit stuck. The boat we need is this pink one. I think. I think it's the pink one. I can see why this ship hasn't been sold. I think that's the ship. That's the second most beautiful figurehead I've ever seen. Hey, she's got pierced ears. Why would anyone put earrings on a ship's figurehead? Oh. I'm not sure how I'd use this. Can we take the... Uh... I'm not picking that up. Oh, I thought maybe we'd take the earrings out of her ears. I don't know what for. I'm not picking that up. I'm not sure how I'd use this. Damn it. Seems to be their earrings, I'm sure of it. Hmm. No. Where are we supposed to go? We need a coin for that machine. Me Hook's not talking to us. Where else are we supposed to go? I don't know what to do. I might, uh, I might leave it there. Do a bit of uh, research. Can you get up here? No. Wow, that's one flexible merboy. Ah. Wow, that's 
one flexible merboy. We've still got pretzels as well. Hmm. The header says melee government Give employment, employment contract. contract. That's a normal. That's a normal contract. Hmm. I don't know what to suggest, really. Can I go back in here? This just lead me out to a different house, probably. Give the lady the pretzels, do you think? I, okay, I'll try giving her the pretzels. Let's just try it. I don't think that's gonna work, but we'll try it. I don't think she want any, any pretzels. Excuse me. What? Want a kudu jerky pretzel? No, hmm. thanks. They go straight to my hips. How can you tell? Oh, damn it. I thought that could have been it. I'll eat him then. Well, I wish I had some grog to wash that down with. There's grog right there. If I go around offering these to everyone and everything I see, I won't have any for myself. Oh, damn it. Right, okay. I'm going to... We need to get meat hook somehow. Maybe we'll go back to the actual. It says online you need to take the Goober National symbol to the harbour mistress. Get it from Elaine. Ah. So we got something from Elaine to give to her. Okay, right. Let's do that. Sorry. I'll do that. Then I'll go. Then I'll. Then I'll um, save it. Right. Okay. Let's try this. Thank you, chat. Those pretzels away. Luckily, the catapult guy hasn't come back with his catapult yet. The cannon man. Cannon man's gone. Cannon man left a long time ago. He's gone to build another cannon or catapult. Emily Grace, thank you for those 100 bits. Right. Yeah, I thought there'd be coins in the fountain as well, but there's no coins in the fountain, unfortunately. Right, talk to Elaine. Elaine, sorry to bother you, love. Hello, Governor. What are you doing here, Guy Brush? Uh... I'm having a little trouble getting a ship. What kind of trouble? I don't have the authority to requisition one. Can you believe that? Me. There must be a bunch of new people around here since we left. Here, take this. Yes! This should give you an air of authority. What's this doohickey? It's the official gubernatorial symbol of Melee Island. It conveys the authority of the Office of Governor. It also gets the holder into some pretty great parties. <laughs> the true pirate doesn't need some gubernatorial symbol to prove he commands respect. Yes, well, all the same, I, I think you better take it. All right. Oh, does this mean I get to run the island now? I've got some revolutionary ideas about subsidized childcare. Just give it back the minute you return from Lucre Island. Can I have some money? Why? Well, I'm not sure, but it always seems as though I could use a few hundred pieces of aid on my adventures. Well, I'd like to help, sweetheart, but we're kind of strapped for cash right now. Besides, what happened to your monthly allowance? <laughs> it's I like blew a kid. all gambling on spitting contests on Booty Island. Well, then I'm sorry, my dear. It's time you learned an important lesson about budgeting. Oh, shucks. Oh. I really think I'll need some money on this trip. Not until you learn how to spend your money responsibly. I'll let you concentrate on your campaign. Thanks. Damn it, no money for Grog. All right. All right, fair enough. He can't be traveling. We're in a pandemic right now. <laughs> Look, this, this game was invented and came out back in the good old days when there wasn't pandemics. Well, there probably was, but it's nowhere near as, as, uh, as bad as this one. Right, let's take this thing to the... To the docks. Oh, I'm yawning. Ah, so make all you lot yawn now. Who's gonna empathise with me? Right, let's get this ship going. Let's get to the next island and then we'll save it. Right. Oh, hard mistress, I've got a thing for you. Check this out. I need a ship. I told you, you don't have the authority to... Check this out. What's this? The gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. Oh, I see. There we go. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you are an important person. Right this way, Mrs. Marley. Let me show you to your ship. 
Mrs. Marley. Mrs. Marley. Look, now she's nice to me. Typical. But she's a slow walker. Go on, love. Molly Victoria, thank you for the five months. Oh, it's the pink one. I knew it. I knew it. This is the dainty lady. It's pink. You've obviously got a seaman's eye for nautical details. But, but it's pink. Now, there are a couple of regulations that I'm required to explain to you. First, bring it back in the same or better condition as it is now. Second, life preservers are to be worn by all crew and passengers at all times. Finally, this vehicle is to be used for official business only, so no joyriding. Can I go now? <laughs> well, I'd love to hang out here on the docks with you all day. Actually, that's a lie. I can't stand to be near you. Bye. Wow. Oh, Sass. And enjoy your voyages on the dainty lady. Really don't like her. It's pink. Here's our crew, look. Mr. Cheese. His wooden leg. Is yes. that the sheep? It doesn't look very seaworthy. At least it doesn't smell like monkeys. Are you guys ready to go? I can. Whatever. No. Don't make me slap you, Otis. Fine. Let's get this over with. Then we're off to Luger Island in search of high adventure and a legally binding restraining order. It'll all end in tears. Mark my words. Mr. Chief, we're off. shouldn't we steer away from those dark portentous clouds? Nonsense, Captain. A little rain never hurt anyone. <laughs> wow! Wow! Button down Three for the silent running. Shorten sail! Clear the scuppers! Clear the millions! Get your hands off me! Sorry, baby. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Marley. Lucre Island. Ah, Lucre Town. The largest urban center in the Tri Island area. Thanks, Mr. Cheese. Uh, next time you think we can get here with a little less drama? Oh, no. There's not going to be a next time, is there? Better not be. Once was enough. Okay, I'm going into town. You guys stay here and watch the ship. Oh, sure. I see how it is. The captain gets to make all the decisions. And there we go. Right. We made it to Luca Island. Uh, what I'm going to do is. Oh, no, not that one. F1. Save my game. Let's save. Is it going to work? Choose a slot to save your game and press enter. I've done that. Why is it taking so long? Hayley, thank you for the bits. Michelle, thank you for the bits. Why is it... Oh, no. Why is it letting me save? Ah, game saved. Done. Right. Ah, oh, okay. Let's, um... Let's pause that game there. Let's go on to quit. Sure, yeah. Right, guys, I'm going to end the stream there. We made it to Luca Island. Um, I love that game. I love that game. Um, I hope you did too. Diddly, diddly. What did you think of it? It's like it's it. It is a good game. It's like a good fun story game. Um, diddly, 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 diddly. Um, yeah, I so yeah, I'm uh, I should pretend I might be on tomorrow if I can get um, if I can get my YouTube video finished for tomorrow, then I'll then I'll do that. Uh, but I'm gonna shoot off to to bed for try now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, very nostalgic and chilled. Uh, for, I love to throw back get uh, see throwback games like that. Maybe you want to download them at Tojo and Earl. Yeah, it does. Um, love the stream. Oh, thank you. Uh, nice to see you. Get, nice to see you back. Go and get some rest. Yeah, thanks, Sue. I'm not used to being up this late anymore. <laughs> 
Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for everyone that watched. Thank you for all the bits. Thank you for all the gift subs, the subs, all of that stuff. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow with, hopefully tomorrow with another stream. I'll let you guys know um, in the Discord what the situation is um, and how my editing's coming along for that other video. Hopefully it'll be up tomorrow. Uh, it depends if I can get it done in time. But until then, I'll see you all later. Thanks for the stream, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.